Good evening, everyone. There's no water here in the trailer port, so there's like constant activity going back and forth because that building right over there is like the water pump house thing. So yeah, so that's going on. There's lots of barking going on. And um, it's interesting how there's no water and I immediately felt more comfortable. <laughs> I know I'm a strange duck. I am looking forward to moving into my camper. Wow. I really am. I got water saved up. I was melting snow a couple of months ago and we were in a really big thaw and I was worried about it not snowing again. So I have quite a few four liter containers filled with melted snow and I took them all with me because when I move into the camper I'm going to need uh, to start collecting water again. So I'm set. I just went and got myself a couple of jugs of water and off I went. But I can't imagine that the other people in the trailer court are feeling so relaxed about it. So I've been waiting all day. I got a package today. I've been waiting all day. I went up town today. It was my day, my town day. Uh, me and my bestest had lunch together. We've been really enjoying each other lately. We're very much on the same page that, you know, life is most likely going to, uh, turn difficult more and more difficult as the days weeks and months progress and we don't know where we'll end up or if we'll be okay so we are enjoying each other's company now while we can and we are enjoying it we get together and we laugh all the time so anyways my post office is only open till 11. so i picked it up first thing in the morning and i went straight off to town Still working on my packages, so uh, Rez, you were getting a package, and Adam, there are two Adams that follow me, and I don't want to say your, your names on here, but Adam, who ordered some tea, you are getting your tea. Not excuse the whole packaging, it's uh, a work in progress, it's lots of paper, and packing tape got harmed. In the making <laughs> of this packaging it's a bit crazy but I just doing what I can do to cut the costs and I'm using up a lot of paper that uh, that I've been carrying around with me for years so win-win it's like not really I would say the blue-eyed Molly look Blue Eyed Molly look is simple. It's all about simplicity. Uh, this is very colorful and in your face, but you know what? I am a colorful personality and I like to dress with color, so it's all good. All right. mushroom oh my gosh <laughs> yay I finally have a mushroom book I taught myself wildflower identification from the National Audubon Society field guide my books over there it's like a bright lime green one so that is very exciting so I'm familiar with um I'm familiar with the way this works that is awesomeness that is so practical I absolutely love it and we got some I have my glasses here this package is recyclable a bath bomb made with oh some cannabis I'm going to be so relaxed 
you have magnesium in here? Citrus peel oil, lavender oil, a bunch of other oils I don't know. Cannabis, sativa, flower extract. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. And my water's out. I was like, I needed a bath today. No, I didn't need a bath today, but I was thinking, you know what? I would like to have a bath today. Press here to open. And then what? Oh, no. What the heck? It says, press here to open, but then what? I don't understand. Oh, there we go. Ah, it just comes rolling out. Mmm, that's pretty good. I'm really sensitive to scents, but I think this will be okay. It's like, there's no, um... <laughs> Artificial fragrance in here. So I do okay with uh, natural fragrance. Another one. Do they have like... So this is Blue Dream. And this is Bubba Kush. You know, the names of cannabis plants are just so ridiculous. You know, you call them weeds. And apparently they grow like weeds. But have you ever been around people who grow cannabis? They baby them and they spend so much money and time on them. There's like nothing about them that are weeds. They are like really intensely picky, like exotic. Well, this one's like purple and pink. Ooh, that one's like florally. Cinnamon, citrus, lavender. Oh, that is like totally unexpected. I didn't had no idea that they would make cannabis infused bath bombs. That's actually pretty hilarious. Summer Berry. She wrote a little note. I don't want to read it because you know whatever, but uh Summer Berries make a lemonade style tea. I don't know what summer berries are, I'll have to ask. They look like kind of look like bunch berries. I have not heard of summer berries. Oh! All right, I can see why she said that it'll, it'll make like a lemonade. <laughs> Definitely not bunch berries. Oh my gosh! Look at all this chaga! Oh my goodness! This is beautiful. Oh, this is so beautiful. Wow, thank you. Thank you. This is from someone who lives in um, Ontario. And we got some smiley balls. And another book on herbs. A practical guide to growing and using herbs. Oh, this is just wonderful. Thank you so, so much. I will get you your tea. Give me a few days. This packaging is causing a little bit some headaches for me, but it's all good. You will eventually, you guys will eventually get the tea. Oh, oh that was wonderful. Thank you. Hmm. So, I need some moral support now, even if it's gonna say retrograde that's not the right word is it retroactive so I got my first um hydro bill today and I haven't opened it yet <laughs> oh man oh man going from having a wood stove to this oh it's not as bad as I thought it would be okay $191.09 I can deal with that I thought it was going to be several hundred dollars but I have kept it cold in here very cold in here so 
All right, then um, April's going to be much more doable because it's not really going on during the day anymore. Okay. I can deal with that. Very grateful. See? Living in... Being used to the cold has some benefits when you have to live in hydro. Oh. Got myself some salad for supper. I was up early, early, early this morning, way before dawn. I was just lying here. There was just the slightest twinges of light. It was so beautiful. I've been really restless and unsettled. I am quite eagerly looking forward to the Amanitas coming back into my life. I believe that they will really help me. You know, I went, I smoked them and took tea every day for quite a few weeks, like consecutively. And then my stash was running out, so I like really started using it sparingly. And then I wanted to do one last big dose or bigger dose. I've never, I haven't done a terribly big dose, so just a bigger dose, just to like. It's such a nice feeling. That high is such a nice feeling. You know, I just, my heart expands. I just feel love. You know, and I wanted that, so I I was saving for that, and I stopped. And I quite quickly felt like I do now. I feel pessimistic. I feel like I'm just struggling. I feel like my wheels are spinning. I'm not sleeping well. I'm just tired. I'm really, really tired. I just feel weary. You know, I'm managing to keep my vibrations pretty high in spite of it all. But I really, really, really have to work at it. And when I was taking the Amanitas, life just seemed to flow, you know, nothing changed. Life was still difficult, but it was easier to deal with. So they are coming back into my life and I'm looking forward to that. Anyways, um, restless and unsettled and I was, I knew I wouldn't be able to fall back asleep. I wasn't even going to try. So just lying here and looking out my window, and then I was talking to Altho, the, the giant, and he said, you know what, come outside. I'm like, okay, I'll go outside. It, was, it looked like such a peaceful start to the day. So I was outside at 10 to 7, and I did like two rounds of my prayer walk. And on the second round, I listened to the song Remember on repeat. And I feel like I'm getting ready to remember who I really am. I feel like I'm to the point where maybe I can, I'm ready to remember why I'm here. It's an interesting feeling. I've never felt like this before. But perhaps some doors are going to be open for me soon, or some my higher selves will reveal things to me. I don't know how this is all going to come to pass. But I was standing at the corner, the southwest corner. I stand there and I talk to the army, and I was there today talking, and I was like, I was just verbalizing, like, I am ready to remember. I want to remember. And then, like, on the flip side of that, I realize that I forget so easily. I forget that I am sacred. I forget that I am wise. I forget that I am enough. I 
And I was like, I stood there with my eyes closed and just went deep, deep into it. And I was like, I was like catapulted into space, deep into the universe or the galaxy. I don't know what the right word is, but I was just flying through nothingness. But there was like space particles and like twinkling not like I didn't see planets but there was um I really don't know how to explain it but it was I was it was kind of like a I would say like a tunnel like a really really big tunnel and I was like falling through it and it was like sparkling with like space dust or something and then I kind of got the thought like you were made out of stardust and that's right I am ancient I am ancient my bones are ancient you know my DNA is ancient my soul is ancient and I keep forgetting and I think that when I can start to remember That'll unlock even more power for me. I'll have access to more wisdom and to different ways of being and to a deeper inner peace than I've ever felt before. I've been thinking about trying to sleep in the camper real soon. It's still really cold to be sleeping outside and I would have to put on a heater. So I'm not sure about that all. I've actually never checked to see if my neighbor's Wi-Fi signals reach me here. If that could be part of the part of what's going on. Oh, I can't check now because I'm hot spotted to my computer, but I should check that later because I know that they have Wi Fi, they have Wi Fi. So I might be like, have Wi Fi. I got my grounding wire stuck in. The snow has melted here enough, and I bought myself like a big lag bolt today so I can, uh, I can start grounding myself. But I'm kind of just aching to sleep in the camper. And see what comes of that. I wasn't sleeping well in the cabin either, but in the cabin I was at least resting. I wasn't doing the whole fall asleep, wake up, fall asleep, wake up, fall asleep, wake up. Here, the past couple weeks, I have been like doing that until about four o'clock in the morning and then from four to between seven and seven thirty ish I sleep really deeply but that's not enough sleep for me I just want to remind you guys again how loved you all are and you are not alone, and I am not alone, and we're all connected. <laughs> now here comes Snowball. Oh, he's gonna like go past the window here. <laughs> he just has a bit of a tail. When I'm not doing well, then my neighbors don't do well, and when my neighbors don't do well, I don't do well because we're all connected every single one of us so when we work on ourselves when we take responsibility for our words and actions doesn't matter if we're like far along in our journey or we're just starting we help the whole collective so i just got some grumpy dogs here 
I just want to encourage everyone to keep working on themselves, no matter how big or how small. To breathe. You know, right now I'm just into breathing. Just breathe. This morning I had a talk with myself. One of my wounds is I am not enough. And I keep falling into the trap of, oh, I need to do this and this before this or this will happen. Oh, I need to have a clean house before something will happen. And I was like, no, no, that's just you putting judgment on yourself. That's putting yourself in a box. That's not, that's like not trusting spirit. I am enough the way I am right now in this moment. Things can happen whether I have a messy house or not. Do I want a messy house? No, I would much prefer to have a tidy house, but I'm I'm feeling really overwhelmed right now. I am trying to get a lot done. I am trying to, I feel like I have a lot on my plate and I am really not enjoying life right now. I'm not happy. I feel like I'm not spending enough time with the boys and when I start to have that regret, like if I start, when I start to think about if Hepsbo would die tomorrow, I'd be really sad because I haven't spent enough time with him. Then I know that my life is seriously out of balance and I need to spend time with him because my time is limited with him and I love him. And why would I put a clean, tidy house in front of a relationship that I've had for almost 14 years now? Like. He's, he is sacred, you know, he has helped me heal so, so much. I want to spend more time with him and I want, want to spend more time in the forest. I want to have happy moments. So I need to seek out my happy moments. I have to just surrender. Surrender into the trust, surrender into the faith, surrender into the absolutely firm knowledge that I am enough. And I am okay. And I am exactly where I need to be going through what I need to be going through. I am doing exactly what I need to be doing. And right now, I need to shift. So I was tidying up and now that needs to shift into going more into the forest. And that is exactly what I need for right now. And it's just gaining a little bit more balance. And when I do that, I'll probably have more energy to come in and tidy. That's usually the way it works. All right. Thanks for listening, everyone. We love you very much. Until next time.